Okay, in this video we're going to do an example of solving a word problem involving a trig equation. So, in this one we've got that, we've got a weight that's suspended from a spring. Uh, its displacement P is given by P of T equals 5 sine of 4T minus 2 cosine of 4T. Uh, T is going to be time. Again, P is going to be the displacement from this equilibrium position in centimeters. We want to know how many times the weight passes through the equilibrium position in the first five periods. Well, okay, if it passes through the equilibrium position, that means its displacement from the equilibrium position would be zero. So that's simply what we're going to do. We're going to make the left side of this equation equal to zero, and then we're going to try to solve it out. So we've got 5 sine 4t minus 2 cosine of 4t. What I'm going to do is add the 2 cosine of 4t to both sides. So we've got 2 cosine of 4t equals 5 sine of 4t. I'm going to divide both sides here by cosine of 4t. So cosine of 4t. So we'll have 2 equals 5 times, well, sine over cosine is tangent. So we'll have tangent of 4t. And then we can simply divide both sides by 5. So we'll get 2 over 5 is tangent of 4t. Or equivalently, uh, let's see, so 2 over 5 is going to be 0.4 equals tangent of 4t. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the inverse tangent of both sides, uh, and I'm going to rewrite it here again one time. I'm going to write tangent of 4t equals 0.4. So when we take uh, the inverse tangent of both sides, on the left we'll just be left with 4t. Um, on the right we'll get the inverse tangent of, well, 0.4. But the problem is, uh, there are more solutions uh, than just inverse tangent of 0.4. Recall that we can add multiples of pi for tangent uh, to get uh, uh, additional solutions. Okay, So uh, make sure, don't forget to uh, forget about the, uh, to plug in the, uh, the, pi to the, the pi times n part. That would be one part that would be easy to forget. And now what I'm going to do is just divide both sides by 4. So uh, we'll simply get inverse tangent of 0.4 over 4 plus pi over 4 times n. All right, so I'm going to evaluate inverse tangent of 0.4. Let's see, so 0.4, um, I'm going to do inverse tangent of that. So I'm getting this to be, so I'll have t equals the inverse tangent of 0.4. I'm getting that to be roughly 0.38 radians um, over 4. Again, plus pi over 4 times n. So 0.38 divided by 4, um, that's 0 0.095 plus pi over 4 times n. All right, so now, um, so now we have to start thinking about solutions that actually work. So uh, one thing we have to think about as well is, is the period. So recall our original equation here. Uh, we had 5 sine of 4t minus 2 cosine of 4t. Remember the period we take 2 pi and we divide it. When the coefficients are the same, uh, to find the period we simply take 2 pi and divide it by the coefficient on our variables. Again, we, we technically take the absolute value. So 2 pi over 4, or pi over 2, will be the period. So that, that really says each period lasts uh, pi over 2 seconds, because time again was in seconds. So let's see, pi divided by 2, uh, let's try to get a better feel for that. So pi divided by 2, that's going to be roughly equal to, we'll say, 1.57 seconds. Okay, so each period lasts 1.57 seconds. Well, I think we were going to do this over five periods. 
So if we multiply this by 5, so 1.57 times 5, um, so over 5 periods, it's going to go um, from 0 up to 7.85 seconds. So we have to find all t values. We have to find all solutions to this equation, all t values, that fall in the interval 0 to 0.785. Alright, well we've got our formula here, so again I'm going to figure out pi divided by 4, and again we can approximate this. So it says t equals 0 0.095 plus pi over 4, I'm getting that to be roughly 0 0.79 times n. So now what we're going to have to do is just start multiplying uh, values of, you know, we're going to have to start picking values of n, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to have to keep doing that and we'll keep getting t values uh, and we just want again t values that fall in this interval from 0 to 7.85 seconds. So notice if n equals 0 we'll simply get t equals, well, 0 0.095 and that would be one of our solutions. If n equals 1, well, we would get 0.095 plus 0.79. So 0.095 plus 0.79, I'm getting that to equal uh, 0.885. So again, after 0 0.885 seconds, again, it's back at the equilibrium position. So that'll be another solution that works. If n equals 2, again, all we're doing is just adding another multiple of 0 0.79. So 0 0.885 plus 0 0.79, I'm getting that to be 1.675. And now I'm just going to keep adding 0 0.79 until I get outside of this interval. So we'll have quite a few solutions here. So uh, we said 0 0.095 works. We added 0 0.79 to get 0 0.885. That's another one that works. 1.675, that's another one that works. Uh, so let's just start adding. So 0 0.79, I get 2.465 seconds will be another uh, time where this, this, uh, this object's at the equilibrium position. Plus, we'll add another multiple of 0 0.79, so 3.255. I'm going to add another multiple of 0 0.79, 4.045. We'll add another 0.79. We are having so much fun, I can tell. Um, plus 0.79. 5.625. Okay, we're getting a little closer. 0 0.79. Uh, 6.415. Let's add 0 0.79. Okay, that gives me 7.205. And now if we add 0 0.79, we get 7.9. Uh, 9, 5, but hey, that's outside of our interval, so that one doesn't work. So these are going to be all of our t values here that do work. Uh, so a, 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 a lot of, you know, it's basically, you know, uh, it's definitely kind of oscillating, I guess, fairly quickly. So we are getting a lot of t values where this object is at the equilibrium position. So again, basic idea, um, you know, we, we figured out the period. And again, uh, you know, to make sense out of all this stuff, I always try to turn things into decimals. It just, you know, pi over 2, okay, I know that's some number. What is it a little more roughly? Well, uh, 1.57 seconds. Uh, so five periods will get a total amount of time of 0 to 7.85 seconds. Um, and again, all we have to do is just simply uh, start plugging in values of n, figure out what values of n will give us a t value within this interval.